Hi, this video is going to be for fire signs. Hello, fire signs. All right, let's just get right into it. All right, I'm just going to start right out with your shadow deck. All right, so we're going out for fire signs. Spirit, Archangels. Uh, ancestors. What's going on with this deck? Higher self. What do our fire signs need to know for the last little last weeks in May, beginning of June, please. Do we have any shadows for our fire signs? Hello, my beautiful fire signs. So excited to read for you. What's going on? You only got no damn shadows. You think you're better than us? I'm just kidding. I'm, sh I'm a fucking fire sign too. Bitch, we are better than you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a Leo. Fuck it. Alright, what's good? Seriously, they're really not giving us anything. Ah, just... oh, flu. Hold on. Okay, we got two. We got um, art, which is alchemy. It's also the lovers. It's integration. It's the joining of two things to make something else. Huh. And we also got the star. Okay, so as a shadow, this is what I'm getting. So first, let's focus on the star card. So the star card feels almost like... All you can see is my kids' toys back there. <laughs> they have way too many toys. They even have toys in their room. And that's just... See, what happened was um, their grandma, not my mom, their dad's mom brought a bunch of toys over. And they already had plenty of toys because they're spoiled. Every time I go out and just, <laughs> just buy them something, I know it's horrible. Um, but, you know, I like being able to buy my kids things. I work fucking hard for my money. You know, look at me. So this, I mean, this is what I do. Like, I'm always fucking hustling like a, a fucking goddess does. That's what we do. We fucking hustle, right? I'm not going to expect anyone to fucking take care of me. I take care of myself. I take care of my kids, right? So I like being able to buy them stuff. But, you know, so their grandma came over and she had a bunch of toys, like literally like two trucks full. I don't even know where she got them. Um, so now they have a, a ton of toys, like so many toys out here. It's ridiculous. And most of them are not even able to be played with. They got to go to the mission. Um, and I just haven't had a chance to drop them off because I've been so busy. Like, it's insane, you guys. Okay, so the star feels almost like, and it's, it came out as a shadow because this is my shadow deck. So it feels almost like someone is giving up hope on something. So beware of that energy of fuck it fire signs i mean we're notorious for that just being like you know fuck it i just i want to give up on this i don't care like so be careful of that the star is a beautiful energy of like hoping wish is coming true wish fulfillment but this is almost like this energy feels almost like like i don't even want i don't even care i don't care if any of my wishes come true i don't give a fuck like i mean and that's typical fire sign energy we're very like whatever <laughs> so yeah but it's coming out as the shadows so it's time to change that time to get that childlike hope back fire signs all right and then you got this alchemy card process it's taking some kind of emotion and turning it into something else so beware of this energy of feeling like you cannot um alchemize things because you can this is a reoccurring theme which keep which keeps coming up in the fire sign um fire signs different fire signs energy 
Um, I kept getting alchemy, being able to change something into something else. Like, for example, you're angry and upset because you had a conversation with your friends who was being a total jackass and they were being an asshole. And so you were like, fuck this shit. I don't want to talk to you anymore. And you hung up on them or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So then instead of turning that moment into like, oh, what was me playing the victim and being like, oh, they were such an asshole. Instead, you look at it as a lesson and you're like, okay, so how can I alchemize this and turn this negative emotion into something else? So you go on Instagram, you look up this funny meme, you start cracking your ass up, you're laughing and it kind of sets the tone. So then you watch a comedy and you're just cracking up and laughing about it. And then you start thinking about, you know, all the stupid shit that your friend used to say, which makes you laugh harder and not in like a negative, like my friend is an asshole type thing. Um, it's like remembering the good times and you start laughing and that's alchemy. It's taking a negative emotion and turning it into something else. So you can do this fire signs. You can, you can alchemize. Um, I don't know if you feel like you can't, but you can. And some of you, it's just coming up because you're masters at it, for sure. Let's get one more shadow card for our fire signs. And then we're moving on. Because it's 4 a.m. here. And I'm tired. My kids actually went to bed at a fairly decent time today, too. But I just got busy doing stuff. And this is the only time. And I can... Okay, so that flip didn't come out, so we're not going to take it. Whoa, sons of Socrates. All right. So you got, again, another shadow card. I mean, well, this is my shadow deck, so yeah. I don't know why I was like, you get another shadow card. Duh, of course you do. Five of discs, but this is an obvious shadow card. Like these ones, you wouldn't think they would come out of shadows because it's a star card. But like I said, I use this as a shadow deck, so... If the star comes out as a shadow, it's like it's hope. But yes, it's like not having hope. Or it could even be like hoping to the extreme, almost to the point where like you're naive. You're like, oh, this is this. Like this is the love of my life. And it's not the fucking love of your life. It's just some fuck boy that you think is the love of your life. You know what I mean? Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like having hope to the point of naivety almost right so the next card you got for your shadow card was number five of disc worry so being all up in your head about shit allowing your thoughts to self-sabotage your existence <laughs> it's affecting your reality you're too up in your head about shit so watch that fire signs watch that just allow Breathe, go with the flow, allow things to kind of filter in, you know, allow shit to fly to you like a bee flies to a flower. Princess of Cups, excuse me. There's a fish on here. This worry card too, it's like, look at, it's, the energy is very chaotic. It's just like, thoughts are flying fucking everywhere. Fling, chung, chung, chung. Calm down. Calm down, fire signs. <laughs> All right, Princess of Cubs. She's got like a clamshell. It's open. I feel like it's not being, not using discernment. It's like being too open, just letting every Tom, Dick, and Harry up in your damn energy field, allowing people to just like take advantage of you. It's being too open. We have to have boundaries, fire signs. See how she's open? She's got the clamshell open. And don't get me wrong, it's good to be open, but it, you you also need to know when to fucking put that boundaries down and just say, I'm not feeling this. Or like, you know, like for instance, I get a lot of people that message me on Instagram all the time and some of them just, they'll like, they just draw cards and they want to fucking get my input on it. And they're like, oh, I drew this spread. So what do you think about it? And it's like, I... I'm not going to give you a free whatever. Like, I'm not going to give you my insight on your spread. Like, you want to know what I know or whatever, then pay me. <laughs> like, pay for a fucking reading. I'm not, a, like, a free fucking tarot reader. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound mean, but that's, like, that's this. 
And there's been plenty of times where I was like, oh, I feel bad or I know this person. They're kind of my friend or whatever. So I will give them unsolicited advice or whatever. But then they keep coming back over and over and over again. And it's like, okay, you realize that I do this for a living. You want my, my opinion on your spread? Fucking pay me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Like, um, I put a lot of time and effort into what I do and channeling is not always easy. And I am a busy mom of three kids and I don't have time to sit here and give you my opinion, insights, advice, whatever. Every time you do a tarot spread. Now, if you're new at tarot and you contact me, you know, and say, hey, um, I would like help on uh, interpreting the spread. That's fine. I have no, absolutely no problem doing that. I, I love to help new tarot readers who are just learning i absolutely do because we all have to start somewhere and you know i learned in the beginning by watching other youtubers do it so absolutely if you want to do that that's fine but here's the kicker once i give you uh the few tips and i show you initially or give you my first opinion on your first spread or whatever after that you're on your own <laughs> You know, learn it. You got to learn it. You got to learn it on your own. You know, it's the people that, that will message me 50 times or not 50. I'm being dramatic, but you know, I'm dramatic. I'm a Leo. You know, they message me three or four times um, a week. Oh, what's your opinion on this spread? This came out with this. What do you No. <laughs> my, my thoughts on your spread is no. Okay. No. So that's one of my shadows, but I'm aware of it. It's being too open, allowing people to waste my time and fucking energy. All right, so you got death. Oh, lots of changes for fire signs. Yes. Six of swords, letting a lot of shit go. Letting it go, justice. So you know what? For some of you, oh, ace of swords in reverse. Okay, so for some of you, there's... there's a lot of change coming in and it's because you've let a lot of old shit go in the past you said forget it this is not for me i need to move on and you did that so you got death you said forget this this is not working i'm moving on i'm in my boat i'm i'm leaving and you, the, your boatman's there. You're rowing the hell away. You're like, mm -mm, the same word at boo boo. I'm going. <laughs> and the minute that you do that, the universe comes in with your due justice and says, yes, yes. You finally realize your worth, and now we are going to give you what you deserve because you realize that you are worth so much more than that energy of whatever this is that you needed to let go of. You learned that lesson, fire signs. And then you got ace of swords, which is like some kind of breakthrough epiphany in communication. It came out in reverse. So let's try to figure out why we got that in reverse. Why do we have the Ace of Swords in reverse? But I need to get some more cards out so I can figure out what's going on with that. It feels like you were waiting on communication and it didn't come. Oh, wow. That's why. Holy shit. Okay. So, breakthrough in communication, right? If it's like this, if it's right side up, someone having an epiphany, discovering something, came out in reverse. So, this is like no communication. It's like... None. None. <laughs> There's absolutely none. So somebody was waiting on communication. Some of you fire signs are waiting on communication. It never happened. And here's why. The next card that we got was the high priestess and the eight of swords. So there was something hidden. Somebody was hiding on to, holding on to information, feelings, something. They didn't let it out. High Priestess is the keeper of the secrets. It's intuition. It's holding on to something. But here's the thing. This person, they were holding on to something, feelings. It feels like feelings. Hiding it, hiding it, right? They felt it because it's the, the High Priestess is, um, it's feeling it with your intuition. 
So I feel like they felt something, but here's what happened. Look at what came out next. The Eight of Swords. It's it's like the person self-sabotaged. They were all in their head about shit. They imagined this imagined shit, right? It's like they got too caught up in their heads about it. They imagined all of these things that were going to go wrong. This imagined confinement. This imagined prison of the mind. And it that's why the communication never came. Wow, look at on the bottom of the deck to the moon. I told you. It's it's secrets. Again, the moon is secrets. Someone's holding on to something. Wow. Look at that though. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands, but it was in reverse. So this is fighting for what you believe in. They're gonna they're, they're they stopped. I feel like they're gonna stop fighting the feelings. Oh my God. See, you can't make it up. They're, they're going to stop fighting what they feel. Look, this is fighting for what you believe in. Fighting things off. This is letting go. Surrendering. Stopping the fighting. Right? Seven of Wands in reverse. Oh, look. They're going to come to a decision. Two of Swords. I told you. Holy crap. You can't make it up. They're going to come to a decision. Wow. Yep, they, they are. And look what's next, Page of Wands. So when they make that decision, whatever it may be, it's going to come quick and they're going to come forward quickly. All right, wow, that was quick. Okay, what are we doing next, Spirits? Um, let's do the other tarot deck for you guys. All right, what do we got for our beautiful fire signs? Oh, we got the sun. It came out in reverse. But the thing about the sun card is... Even if it's in reverse, it means the same thing, but just to a lesser extent. So, again, we got fire sign energy. It's Leo energy. It's the sun. It's happily ever after. It's the, the picket fence, the big-ass house, the dogs, the kids. Why did I say dogs like that? The dogs? <laughs> it's like I was channeling some past old New York life or something. I had a lot of past lives in, in um, 1920s New York, so it doesn't surprise me. Sometimes I find myself saying weird shit like that, and I just, like, slips out. And it's literally, like, my past life bleeding into my now life. Like, my son, sometimes, August, will catch it, and he'll be like, why did you say some, like, like, the other day, I think I said coffee. When I said it weird, I was like, coffee. And he was like, why did you say it like that? And I was like, like, what? And he's like, you said it like coffee. <laughs> he was like, that was weird. And I was like, I did see, I just said that was weird. Did you see? You see what I mean? Like, and, and I, I don't realize I'm doing it until it comes out. And then I'm like, why did I say it like that? It's so weird. It's like past life bleed over. And you know what? I feel like right now with these new energy shifts and the mercury retrograde or whatever, the full moon eclipse coming up, there's a whole bunch of strange solar um flares i've been going off right now too like the solar storms have been intense the geomagnetic storms really tense all of this energy i feel has shifted us and so a lot of you are going to be experiencing that like that weird like um past life bleed into your like now present time i know i'm not the only one that's been experiencing it. it's just really weird it's a running theme. So if you catch yourself acting weird, it's because of your past life bleed into your future. Oh, the chariot. I told you it's like extreme desire for something, but fighting it off. Oh, it's crazy. It's also balance. Balancing out your... Um, emotions and your desire learning to control your desires you know like as far as love learning to it's like holding back your desires but in a way that it's because you know you have to it's like i really really want this person but i can't go full force because if i do i'm gonna scare the fuck out of them <laughs> with my intensity you know because i'm i'm a leo but i'm also in scorpio rising so that's fucking intense like Scorpio women are very, very fucking intense and very fucking sexual. So if I don't rein that in sometimes, I'd be scaring motherfuckers away. Because I once I'm like, 
I, there's no like in between for me. I either really like you and I'm fucking obsessed or like I don't give a fuck and shit about you at all. <laughs> like there's no gray area. It's like, oh, I kind of like you. It's like I fucking want to eat your soul <laughs> or like I don't give a fucking rat's ass that you even exist. Like <laughs> it's just how I am. And so it's this feeling of chariot. It's like wanting something super bad that you can taste it but knowing you can't go all in yet because of a reason like holding back because you don't want to scare someone away that type of energy so you got a lot of happiness coming in um learning to balance your emotions and your passions very good energy you got queen of swords in reverse so queen of swords right upright is like a woman who's very logical, it's very bad bitch energy, but sometimes she can be too, a little bit, she can come across as like too logical, too cold, but it's not that she's too cold, it's that she is just very, um, very logical, like she tends to like tell like it is, okay, but the Queen of Swords in reverse is like this very type, um, Almost like, a, I want to say cruel. Spirit keeps saying cruel, but it's like the Queen of Swords in reverse is not a pleasant. It's like a bitchy type, dominating female type energy. So that's not pleasant at all. Be aware of like not being in that energy. You know, she's got a hawk on her too. So that's going to be significant for some people. So some of you need to curb your bitchiness. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I'm hearing. Maybe it's like, you know, because of the heat, it's like you're just getting, um, I don't know, irritated easy or whatever, but be careful of being in the energy. All right, you got the hanged man is in reverse. Oh my God. Okay. So whatever it is has been on hold. It's been like a pause. I didn't show you this card. I don't know if I showed you any of them. There's a rooster on there too, on the sun card. It's the happiness comes with an announcement. The rooster is like cawing. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like, um, I feel like it's going to be announced somehow. So keep an eye out for like birds. If you see like roosters, um, there's a bluebird on here too. A bluebird, you hear a bluebird, a rooster, crow or something, some kind of bird make a sound and it like you hear it and it it seems relevant like you're outside you hear a rooster crow and you don't normally see roosters or hear them around or whatever like that that's going to be like your sign that your energy has shifted and there's going to be some new exciting shit coming in does that make sense okay and then you so then there was the chariot so yeah it's like <laughs> balancing that um desire but it's funny because it's like <laughs> I don't know. It's if you look, um, there's like the cancer symbol. It looks like 69. It's so weird. I always say it's a 69. It's not, but, um, and then the person is like, you see their energy is kind of like goofy. Like it's weird. Um, I feel like it's spirit. is just like saying it's like going, with, they're like going, it's like going with the flow. Um, you know, but really it's not because it's like, you're, you want to go with the flow, but you're like tightening up the reins. You know what I mean? So it's like um, a paradox. But ironically, when you learn to rein in those desires, you will go with the flow. Right? That makes sense. There's a lot of growth too because there's a plant on his head. So yeah, that's it's good energy. The Queen of Swords, she came out in reverse. Okay, be careful. Some of you fire signs are being too bitchy. <laughs> Straight up. So the hanged man, so it came out in reverse. The hanged man, the hanged man, when it's like right side up, it's, um, <clears throat> you know, it's like a pause. It's someone contemplating something, thinking something over. So if you've been doing that fire signs, you've been sitting there thinking about something, you're over it. It came out in reverse. So whatever was being mulled over, this might not even be you. It could be, yes, you've thought something over, you mulled it over, and now you've come to a decision. But it feels like somebody else was mulling something over in their head, 
um, in regards to you and if the hanged man, it's it's not a pause anymore. It's it's in reverse. So it's after that pause, pause and reflection, it's moving forward. It's coming to a decision. It's also spiritual enlightenment. Queen of Cups came out in reverse. So fire signs right now. There's an energy of not being open as far as like, I want to say love. It feels like love. Um, because Queen of Cups is very balanced. She's in her emotions, but she's open. She's feeling all of her emotions. She sits in the emotions. Her cup overflows with love, but just a very balanced type um, love, right? A very balanced openness. So the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone who's not open. So, you know what? Spirit's probably going to work on cracking your butt open right now because I feel like a lot of you fire signs are closed off, possibly because of a past heartbreak. And on the bottom of the deck, you got Wheel of Fortune. So fate is going to change in your favor, it feels like the wheel is turning and, you know, things are going to start happening. All right. What are we going to do next? Let's go on to your love portion. What do we got for our fire signs? We're going to do the sexual tarot deck. Then we'll do a card from your person with my Lemurian love oracle that I created using the artwork of the beautiful Kimber Kiss. Our wonderful collab of love. What do we got for our fire signs for the end of May, beginning of June? Holy Spirit, what do our fire signs need to know about their love life? All right, and then after we do the Lunar Love deck, we will do an Akashic Records um, past life card for you, and we're going to wrap it up. All right. That reading flowed super quick. All right, what do our fire signs even know about their love life right now? Why is there a card flip that didn't pop out? It was justice again. Told you. You figured out what you deserve, and now you're going to get it. Because you realized you are a fierce king or a fierce queen. Oh, my God. The cards just flew the fuck out. You got four cards. I'm not even going to do any more. That's enough. <laughs> that's, that's too many. Oh my God, Ace of Pentacles. Holy shit. Ace of Pentacles, Judgment. It's a red string of fate. Oh my God. For some of you, it's union or a reunion. Wow. Four of Wands and Eight of Swords. There's a lot of jealousy though. Wow. So you, some of you are going to have some unions. Big, big union energy. Um, But... There's also this energy of, ooh, lots of fucking passion. There's also this energy of jealousy. So some people are not going to be happy for you. It's a given. Fuck it. Protect your union. You're divinely guided anyways. You're divinely protected anyways, so fuck them. <laughs> Seriously. All right, so look. Ace of Pentacles, it's union. They're in, they're in the bed together. They're laid up. They just did the deed. They're fucking happy. All right. Um, there's three fucking candles on there. That is a lot of fire. Very passionate union. And look at the card that came out right next to it. Look, it's a deep, deep soul connection. You already know this person. At least your soul does. They're, they're connected by the red string of fate. It's like that, you know, the little, the Japanese um, story where, you know, they have this, oh God, I think it was a Japanese story, fable or something um, about when two people are meant to be together, then the, the Japanese believe, see the Japanese, the Chinese, I, I can't remember. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone, but I heard it somewhere. It's a story. Um, when two people are meant to be, there's they believe that there is like a string that's tied to the two people's souls and it can twist and it can flip and it can tangle, but it can never break. And it's basically the universe's way of bringing these two souls back together every time, every lifetime, 
every single lifetime, millions and trillions and billions of lifetimes together, your guys' soul knows the other's soul. It is a deep, deep connection. So if this is someone that you don't know right now, you know them. Your soul is going to instantly like that when you see them. It's going to be like, how do I know you? I don't know how I know you, but I know you. It's going to be this feeling of home and recognition instantly. It's just like what, what people say with like the, the twin soul or twin flame. I hate those labels and stuff, but for the purpose of this reading, we have to go there, right? They say that there's a silver cord that, that joins the two twin souls, a silver cord that is a direct connection from your soul to your soul, your, you know, your twin soul. Um, and you guys can communicate through that silver cord. You guys feel each other's energy through that cord. Everything that you share with your twin soul goes through that cord. And it's a very strong connection that can never be broken. So those cards came out together. So for some of you, it's union. Like now. Or very soon. And then four of wands. Look, it's it's playful passion. It's more passion. There's fire. Four of wands. Four also represents stability. So this is a stable union. It's a divinely protected union. Look at the angel up there. The angel with the rose. Again, we got the rose represents passion. So much passion. There's fire on here. Wands is fire energy. It's passionate, but it's stable. Four is the number of stability, right? There's four. Two on this side, two on this side. It's balance. Four is like the number of like houses and, um, you know, like the four pillars. It's a foundation. It's stable. It's a stable foundation for your union. So for some of you, you guys are creating this stable foundation with a person. You've already laid that stable foundation. And now it's just about, it was just 3232 on my phone. That's going to be very significant for someone. These codes are always coming through when I'm channeling from spirit. So if you add it up, it's five and five, but it's 32. Right when I was talking about the creating the stable foundation from your, you know, for your union, so for some of you, you've already planted these seeds and you're just waiting for the seeds to grow. And then we got jealousy, eight of swords, right? Why did I say it like that again? Swords. <laughs> I don't know. But look, this divine back and there's a male back there. She's making love to this male, but there's another male who's watching in the background, kind of lingering. And... She doesn't even give a fuck. She's just doing her own thing. She's not even stopping what she's doing. She's sitting there making love to that other man. <laughs> she's like, you missed your chance, boo-boo. <laughs> she's just... I mean, seriously, that's what she's doing. Look, I'm not making it up. She's looking back. Let me cover this so I don't get flagged. She's looking back. The other male's on top of her, right? She's looking back at the other male... She's watching him like, oh, well, <laughs> I don't know. But the other male energy feels, feels jealous. Let's read it from the book and then we'll do, we'll continue. I want to be done. I'm tired. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, gratification, the magic of the three candles, a complete and gratifying relationship unifies mind flesh and spirit see body mind soul love is rooted in the intimacy that follows intercourse who so for some of y'all this is gonna be the first time that you lay with your person oh and it's gonna be fireworks look at all that fire judgment wow you fire signs have been getting judgment a lot judgment and justice right Love at first sight, I told you. 
your soul will know this person. The magic of sound. Sound changes the level of the spirit. The unexpected births forth to transform a stagnant situation. So for some of you, it's going to be very unexpected. It's going to be a moment that just, it's like, if there was no movement before with your person, there's going to be movement now. It says something's going to happen. It's going to be unexpected and it's going to transform the stagnant energy. So if there was nothing happening before, it's going to be like no movement, no movement. Bam. I want you. You're mine. Let's go. And then you end up in the bedroom. <laughs> the cards don't lie. It's what it says. Four of wands. All right. Shake my head. Four of wands. Plain. The seven. The magic. Fuck. The magic of the seven beans. Sexual intent is born of play and enjoyment. Damn right it is. Just as harmony is born of happiness. Sexual intent is born of play and enjoyment. Beautiful. So for some of y'all, fire signs, it's about not taking yourself too seriously, playing with your sexuality, showing that, you know, you're not taking yourself so seriously. That's going to help draw your person into you. Um, you know, like you can't be sexual when you're all like with a fucking stick up your asshole. Like, but you can't though. I mean, you know, you have to like be loose and fun and how you going to feel sexy if you're all like worried and stressed out and shit, you know? All right. Eight of swords. 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 Do, 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 do. Scratching. Scratching. <laughs> <laughs> magic of the green cloth green frees sensuality i told you some of y'all are going to be getting it in i mean literally getting it <laughs> why did i two <laughs> getting it in <laughs> some of y'all be getting gonna be getting some and you if you haven't gotten any in a while you're gonna be getting some this is your this is your month to be getting some <laughs> this is your summer fire signs hey <laughs> Oh my god. You're gonna unleash that sensuality, bitch. Or boy. <laughs> Green frees sensuality and allows the body to guide the spirit before the mind can guide the body. Wow. Let's read that again. Green frees sensuality and allows the body to guide the spirit before the mind can guide the body. So it's about allowing your body to guide your spirit, right? Mind, body, soul connection, okay? Before you allow your mind to try to guide your body. It's about feeling present in your body. Letting your body do the talking. Letting your body do the feeling. Before you, your mind can take over and go, wait, wait, well, wait, well, what about, you can't, you can't do that. You can't show, you can't show that. You can't, no. It's a feeling, feeling into your body. Oh my God. Okay. You cannot teach the flesh if it is not willing to learn from you. See, it's about freeing your sexuality. Allowing your body to be free to release the sexual energy that you're feeling, fire signs. You can't. Teach your body what you like if you're not present in it, if you're not experiencing everything that your body is feeling. That is some deep shit. All right, let's get a card from your person. What do our fire signs need to know from their person? So for those of you that are maybe in a disconnect, um, I know a lot of twin flames right now, twin souls that are in separation. So for those of you that are in separation or like out, you know, on and off, not talking, um, there's been an energy shift. There's a lot of twins. I know right now like five or six twins who are in separation. So let's get a card for your person and kind of see if we can soothe that glitch <laughs> for you. Soothe that energy. You know what I'm saying? Get you guys some 
peace of mind. And for those of you that are in union, you know, if you're going through a rough patch, whatever, I don't know your situation. Anyways, let's just get some cards for you. And this is the deck that I created. We're completely in sync. So yes, it's, it's feeling your person's energy, feeling them completely being in alignment with your person. You know, you have to be in alignment mainly with yourself before you can be in alignment with anyone else, period. You can't align with your twin soul if you're not in alignment with your own soul, okay? All right. And there's like um, an energy force between them. There's this, there's like a shell in between them. So it's like, there's there could be like a block, right? a block between your guys' energy field. So even though you are in sync, you're not feeling it, if that makes sense. I want to make you mine. So say yes. They're definitely feeling your energy. They do want to come forward. I don't know why they haven't yet. See, the divine masculine up here is she's sprinkling her little dust, her little love dust. And he's looking down and he's noticing her for sure. He feels her energy. He feels the connection. He wants to make her mine. To make her his. Or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. She wants to make him his. I don't know. Make her, make him hers. I long to taste you. Ooh, see? For some reason, for you fire signs, there's a lot of fucking sexual energy going around right now. That whole sexual um, energy read that I did was pretty intense. It was about being present in your body, allowing your body to feel, to give in to the passion, to not fight it off. But it was weird because we got the chariot, which was fighting desire. I feel, you know what it feels like? I feel like once you unleash this desire that you've been holding for this person, whoever this person may be, it's going to fucking catapult you into a fucking whole new existence. <laughs> a whole new timeline. It's going to be like fucking fireworks. I mean, you got fire like what, four or five times? It's a lot of sexual energy. It's very passionate. So I feel like once you unleash that passion that you've been holding on to, holy crap, fire signs. And then the sexual energy is continuing. I long to taste you. But this is also too like just getting lost in the taste of your person's skin. You know, it's not just, well, well yeah, I mean, it's, it's tasting you, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was so vulgar. It's tasting the punani. By the dang alang. <laughs> I mean, it is. That's what it is, right? But, you know, it's also tasting the sweat of your person's skin, the way they smell. Tasting them just... Our senses are completely encapsulated. They're, they're, you know, smell, taste, touch, sound. It's, it's all of it eclipsed into one, you know? One last card. See the sexual energy again. I imagine you touching me. So for some of y'all, then fireworks are going to be fucking explosions when you get to actually be in physical contact with your person. Beware. You better wear a condom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm not. I'm being serious. <laughs> You're going to get pregnant. <laughs> oh my God. I imagine you touching me. See, the masculine's down there. He's longing to reach up and touch the feminine. See that? She's up there. She's not even looking at him. She doesn't even notice that he's looking at her. She's up there. She's on a rock. She's doing her own thing. She's like basking in the sun. She's like, ooh, it's a hot day out today. She's on a rock. She's getting a tan. She's like, mm. The divine masculine down there is on the bottom. And he's like reaching up to her. He's like, oh, I want to touch you so bad. She doesn't even know he's down there. <laughs> She's too busy living her best life. <laughs> so he's like completely bewitched, enamored, enraptured by her. He's like imagining all these ways to be with her. And she's just in her own little world. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's do an Akashic Records card for my beautiful fire signs, and we're going to be wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it up, okay? If I have time and I feel like it, I might do a, a short Akashic past life reading for the collective Timeless, but I don't know. It's getting kind of late. Okay. All right, what do we got for our fire signs? What do they need to know? Tapping into their Akashic records, past life, future life, present, whatever you want to give us, Spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good right now? This has been beautiful energy. A lot of sexual energy, but beautiful energy. Some of you fire signs, ooh, you've learned all your lessons and you're going to get what you deserve, which is some good punani and some big daddy dick. I said it. Oh, look it. And the best thing ever. 27 piece. Oh, oh, someone once told me the other day, once you get that feeling of peace, once you establish peace in your soul, in your environment, everything else falls into place. You know, so peace should come first, always. And then everything else is just going to fall right in your lap. If you love someone, then wish them peace. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's what's coming in for you, my beautiful fire signs. 27, peace. Peace like a river. Oh, so beautiful. All right, that being said, we are all done, fire signs. If you want to book a reading with me, my prices are always in my description box below my videos. You can contact me on my email or you can contact me on my Instagram. If you want to purchase my deck, I have two left. Okay, that's it. So the two that I have, they're going to go quick. Um, they're 50 US dollars. Shipping, local shipping, okay, in the US is only $6.00. If it's international shipping, it ranges between $23 to $30, depending on where you are. Canada, I think it was $23. Um, overseas, a little bit further, Ireland and um, Berlin, $30, $30, $30, $31, okay? So it just depends on how far, you know, overseas you are. But it's going to range between $23 and $30. Um, and don't get me wrong, this deck is, is fucking worth it. I put so much love, blood, sweat, energy into this deck. It was a long time in the making and the messages were channeled straight from source. Um, I was very connected. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's my throat chakra all of a sudden, but it is late. Um, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into this. Um, a lot of, and mainly a lot of love. So it's worth it. I know like everyone's like, well, the shipping, you know, and nobody's complaining that the shipping is extravagant. I just think it's extravagant, right? But it is so worth it. Believe me. I know it's worth it because I made it obviously. Um, but yeah, like when I first learned that the international shipping, I was like, that is a God awful expensive price to pay to ship, <laughs> you know, an Oracle deck. But Believe me, <laughs> it has not stopped anyone. In fact, I've had more international customers than I've had local. Like I've sold like four international decks and the rest were like local. Um, but anyways, if you, you can still pre-order it. So if you want to order it, you'll actually get it for a cheaper price. Because if I order them one by one, it's like $70 a deck. It's literally like $64 and then $10 shipping. And that's insane. I'm not going to. I am definitely not willing to pay that to produce my deck. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So if you pre-order them, if I can get at least 10 people again to pre-order, okay, the more people I get to pre-order it, I can order them in bulk. We will get a cheaper deal, a better deal. Not cheaper, but a better deal. And then I benefit, and mostly you guys benefit as well. Okay, so now that that's done, my spiel's done. I'm done raving about my deck. If you want to book a reading, you can contact me on Instagram. You can contact me on my email. I love you, fire signs.